Let's assume global stock markets have done very well over the past few years, perhaps too well, with prices sky high and investors euphoric. All of a sudden, a virus A pandemic starts and people, well, panic, despite the fact that doctors reassure them that the virus isn't that much more dangerous than the flu. Some of them compulsively buy canned food and various supplies, others head to the local pharmacy and buy all of the masks as well as protective gear they can find, and so on. Unfortunately, investors also panic and see cash as a safe haven, rushing to liquidate various assets, including stocks. Needless to say, a panic selling trend starts, valuations plummet, and everyone blames virus A. Are they correct? Well, yes and no. Yes, because sure, virus A related panic created the context for the drop, and in the absence of this event, prices might have continued going up a while longer. No, because stock prices were overinflated to begin with, and the case could be made that pandemic fears were simply the last drop which happened to fill the glass. If not for virus A, it would have probably been something else. Geopolitical uncertainty, a large-scale bankruptcy, a natural disaster, etc. All in all, one. Yes, pandemic-related fear can most definitely create a quote-unquote perfect storm economic context which generates a crash. It doesn't matter if they are medically justified or exaggerated. But two, the more exuberantly valued assets were prior to the pandemic, the more dramatic the damage is likely to be. In a quote-unquote healthier economic setting, the market may have very well shrugged pandemic fear off or at least not crashed altogether. As time passes, prices might recover or continue their downward movement. Nobody knows, and anyone who claims otherwise is lying. What matters is understanding that pandemic-related fear tells a story that goes well beyond the medical dimension. You just have to listen and use that information wisely.